These days, there's so much sensational content on TV that almost nothing seems to surprise us. TV today is virtually unrecognizable compared to how it was back in the day. We have whole shows built on questionable content. Some of these series wouldn't have even been allowed on the airways a few decades ago. But to be fair, classic TV wasn't so innocent either. The writers and creators of some of the most influential shows from yesteryear tackled tough, hot-button issues with mixed results. Some of these shows handled the topics in a tactful and socially acceptable way, while others weren't afraid to push boundaries and stir up a bit of controversy. In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the most talked about moments in classic television history. Sammy's Visit all in the family. When Sammy Davis Jr. left his briefcase in Archie's taxi cab, he had to come to the bunker's house to retrieve it. While he was visiting the family, he was subjected to a great deal of Archie's bigoted takes on virtually everything. When Sammy and Archie posed for a photo, Sammy swooped in to teach Archie a lesson by planting a big, wet smooch on his cheek as soon as the photo was snapped. The episode definitely left people talking for quite some time. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to Facts First. And stick around for more controversial episodes. The Puerto Rican Day Parade, Seinfeld in this controversial episode of everyone's favorite show about nothing, Jerry and company are peeved when they're stuck in traffic because of a Puerto Rican Day parade. At one point, Kramer unintentionally sets a Puerto Rican flag ablaze and then puts it out by stomping on it. A lot of people weren't thrilled by this tremendously insensitive display of disrespect. Protesters picketed NBC headquarters, and the studio received thousands of angry letters from those who found the flag-burning and cliched portrayal of Puerto Ricans offensive. Elvis, The Ed Sullivan Show The first time Elvis guest starred on The Ed Sullivan Show, the cameramen were instructed to only film the king of rock and roll from the waist up, but that tactic backfired. Merely hiding his gyrating hips only made him all the more intriguing to viewers at home. And there was no hiding the fact his dancing was sexually charged. The screaming women in the live audience gave that one away. Maud's Dilemma Maud in the first season of Maud, the titular character finds herself in the difficult position of being pregnant at age 47. This two-part episode centered around Maud's decision to either keep the baby or have an abortion. Even though abortion was legal in the state of New York at the time, this polarizing episode aired just a few months before Roe v. Wade made it federally legal to terminate a pregnancy. As you can probably imagine, this episode was met with a mixed response and further fueled the bitter debate that was already happening in America at the time. The Bicycle Man, Different Strokes You'd be hard-pressed to find someone who doesn't think Different Strokes was a wholesome family show. But this episode was a bit less family-friendly than others. In it, Dudley and Arnold are coaxed into the back room of a bicycle shop where the creepy owner, Mr. Horton, shows the kids pornographic magazines. He then tries to convince the children to take part in a photo shoot. What's even more disturbing is the fact that Dudley never seems to fully realize what's happening. In fact, the situation is still treated as humorous. While the episode was trying to make the point that children should be cautious about who they trust and that sometimes the last person you'd expect to be a predator actually is one, it all just came across as unsettling and unnecessary. Home, The X-Files after a severely deformed child is discovered in a shallow grave, Scully and Mulder embark on an investigation that leads them to an extremely violent family whose members are all just a little too close. The episode was so disturbing and repulsive to viewers that Fox only reran it once after its initial airing. Just around the corner, The Mary Tyler Moore Show. The Mary Tyler Moore Show pushed a lot of boundaries by featuring a single professional woman as its lead. She wasn't a submissive housewife like most women on television back then. She lived alone and supported herself. In this especially controversial episode, viewers saw Mary coming home in the morning wearing the same clothing she went out in the evening before. Although it was never explicitly stated that she'd been with a man, the implication was still pretty shocking for the era. I'll see you in court, married with children. In this episode of the classic 90s sitcom, Al and Peg Bundy check into a motel room to hook up, only to discover a raunchy sex tape of their neighbors. To add an extra layer to that already uncomfortable situation, the Bundys are secretly taped getting busy as well. All this proved too much for the network, and the episode was banned until 2002, after the series had been canceled. Lucy is Encente. I love Lucy. 
Back in the 50s, the word pregnant was actually considered too vulgar to be said on TV. So in this episode, where Lucy tries to figure out the best way of telling her husband that she's expecting, she must do everything in her power to convey the message while avoiding the dreaded P word. The producers of that show were so prudish about sex that Lucy and her husband slept in separate twin beds throughout the series. The puppy episode, Ellen. When Ellen came out on her popular show, she faced a mountain of backlash from religiously conservative groups and advertisers. The episode scored highly in the ratings department, but the series was canceled the following year after being deemed too gay by some viewers and studio heads. Conflict, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. During the Cold War era, Mr. Rogers touched on the subject of nuclear war for an entire week to help children understand the state of the world and the grim possibility of a potential nuclear conflict between the U.S. and the USSR. While some viewers appreciated how the show approached such an important issue, other folks thought it was just too intense for kids. In this episode, King Friday thinks that Southwood is compiling supplies to construct bombs. In reality, all the parts were for a bridge, and the two neighborhoods end up participating in a peace festival. For every man, there's two women, too close for comfort. This episode took a pretty dark turn when Monroe comes home looking disheveled. As it turns out, he was attacked by two women who had their way with him. The police are called, but they tell Monroe that pressing charges would be too embarrassing and not worth doing. Sinead O'Connor, SNL Irish singer-songwriter Sinead O'Connor decided her guest appearance on SNL presented the perfect opportunity to protest the Catholic Church. In the dress rehearsal, she held up a picture of a refugee child as she sang the Bob Marley song, War. But during the actual performance, she instead held up an image of Pope John Paul II, and at that very moment, she sang the word evil. She then tore up the photo while shouting, Fight the real enemy. The network ended up receiving 4,400 complaints because of the incident. Bored, she hung herself. Hawaii Five-O. In this episode of the classic procedural crime drama, the topic of suicide was discussed. The episode revolves around a yoga instructor testing out a new technique that involves asphyxiating himself to stop his heartbeat. Later, he and his wife get into a fight where she ends up slapping him. He slaps her back, knocking her to the ground. She then fled the scene only for her husband to find her not long after hanging from a noose. Edith's 50th Birthday Party, All in the Family All in the Family was no stranger to controversy. In this episode, Edith is held at gunpoint and assaulted while her family is next door planning her birthday. The show is typically lighthearted and funny, so viewers were fairly shocked when they witnessed such an awful thing happen to such a sweet character. Pilot, NYPD Blue NYPD Blue was fairly controversial before it even officially hit the air due to the excessive amount of nudity and profanity featured in the pilot. However, all that controversy just proved to be good advertising. Viewers flocked to the show to see what all the hubbub was about and kept watching because of how edgy it was. One Beer, Tiny Toon Adventures This episode started innocently enough, with Plucky Duck shuffling through the drinks in the fridge until he's offered a cold one. The characters end up getting drunk and getting into a car accident. Drinking and driving isn't something you typically see in many shows these days, but especially in children's shows. For this reason, the show was promptly banned after it aired. Now it's time to hear from you. Which episode here did you find the most shocking? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.